YouTube, what is going on? I am back with another video. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So I did a reaction to this video, right? And a lot of y'all were asking me to interview that guy. Now I'm just going to play the video for y'all and we're going to listen to it, okay? Let's do it. Where's my father? Nowhere to be found. You know why he was nowhere to be found? Because I just, I just got a relationship with him a few months ago because my mom told me my dad wasn't shit to keep me away from my dad. I'm 26, bro. I'm 26. My mom kept me away from my dad for 26 years. You know what kept me away from him? My mom told me that my dad said I was a mistake and kept me away from my father. Every time this has been looking for me since I was a kid. Yeah. He's been looking for me. <clears throat> Can you imagine all the kids out there who got a fast mom telling them their daddy ain't shit, but the daddy looking for him? I finally talked to my dad. He's a good dude. My mom told me my dad has not paid child support since I was a kid. Mm. I finally meet this. He has an envelope full of shit proof showing he's been paying child support. He told me, mom, he said, your mom is a lying, manipulative. I have not talked to my mom in months. You know why? My mom called me. My mom's in California. My dad's in North Carolina. I moved out of L.A. I can't live in North Carolina or LA because I hate those places because of the trauma I went through on both of those places. My mom calls me. What you doing, baby? What's going on? I'm at my dad's house. What the fuck you doing at the house? Didn't I say don't discuss family business? Like, my dad comes and he busts through the door. My dad is happy and married. He's a street. I can't talk about what he do, but he is street. He's happy and married. My mom has been bitter in having sex with so many goddamn dudes of different races and she just got married recently to a that she met on tinder for one month my mom didn't get married because she was in love she was she got married because she didn't want to be lonely yeah my dad but bust through the door and snatched the phone i was trying to like no He's like hello put my son back on the phone no my it's my son too what do you want put my son back on the phone and my dad loses it going in on my mom and I'm listening to my mom, all that slapping abuse and beating up, beating me up, choking me when I'm on the floor, beating me with belts, wrapping hangers around other hangers, beating me till I pass out and wake back up, welts on my back, scars. My mom turned into a two-year-old little girl when my dad started talking to her. She, she talked to me like a my entire life. He's yelling on the phone, you mad because I left you. And I didn't want to be with you no more. And you kept my son away from me as a weapon. My mom used her kids as a weapon. She mm. used me and my little sister as a weapon. Whenever my mom would get pissed off by my, my dad or my, my sister's dad, she would, she would say, you will never see your son again if you disrespect him. Where's my father? So, I told y'all I will find this dude and I will interview him, right? And I told y'all that. And a lot of y'all was or is waiting for that interview. Well, I got some bad news for y'all. I'm going to show y'all some. All right. So this is him right here. All right. This is him right here. Now we're going to read this. Actor Kalen Walker was sentenced Monday to 50 years to life in prison after being convicted of four women and three teenage girls he met on social media. Walker, 27, was also instructed by Superior Court judge to register as a s offender for the rest of his life. Right? There you go. So, this is what I got to say. First thing first. Y'all gotta see my face. Hold on, y'all. I'm saying y'all, y'all got to see my face because I gotta talk to, to a lot of women on here. I'm saying, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies, y'all finna see my face, because right? I'm talking to y'all. Now, his parents failed him, especially the mom, but we're not just going to blame the mom. He felt himself too. But the mom contributed. 
right? She con- she she contribute to him ruining his own life. You know what I think? I think if the mom had let him see the father, he probably wouldn't have turned out that way. Because a lot of men that has fathers in the you know in their lives, you know, most of the times they don't see what I'm saying, they don't come out like that. So now he has all these traumas, you know, because his mama, you know, really holding him, you know, hostage, really. And a lot of you mothers, this is what's wrong with y'all. You got a problem with the baby daddy. Right? What you do, you have your kids and his. These are y'all kids, right? You feed them babies a bunch of BS, right, about the father. Oh, nah, he ain't this. He ain't that. He seems like. So now, those kids develop a hate for the, you know, for their father. And then, when they grow up to be men and women (laughs) of the society they realize that oh you the mother you were lying they realize that oh their father or that father really wanted to see them really wanted to be there so now they started to resent you some of them don't even get to meet their fathers Life happens. Circumstances happens. Fathers, you know, fa- fa- father can 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 pass out, and 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 just be dead. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Or fathers can pass away, right? So now, father's been paying child support, like he said. The mama used child support money as a way to live lavish. That's a lot of women that do that. And I got a video. I made a video about that. If you type child support, Mac so nice, you will see the video, okay? Now, you as a mother, You create this hate. You build this hate. So now he doesn't get to see his father. So all these things are building up, building up, building up, building up. And if he has a great role model, if he sees the way that, you know, his father treat his mama, he probably wouldn't have done that. Now, he is a man. I'm not just going to blame the mother. We're going to blame him too. He is responsible for his actions. He decided to do that. Nobody forced him to do that. So basically, the mother contribute to failing him. He he contribute, you know, he contributed to failing himself too. But the mother, you was the initial you know, contributor. And this is why I tell you, ladies, when you got a problem with the baby daddy and you got kids, you got to come up with a whole new different way to really raise them kids. I don't have kids, but I love kids. I've been around kids. And me as a father, I will take care of my kids. Do you know the problem is? Y'all women expect a lot. And you're not doing nothing. You're not doing shit. You expect the father to come in and just 
gave you like a a, 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 a a bag of money, right? Some fathers, they get fired. As soon as you get fired and you got the news that he got fired, you call him, oh, he's lazy. Oh, he's just a deadbeat. Whereas if you were to call him and talk to him and be like, what's going on in your life? Then he would have told you, oh, well, I just got fired or whatever, but I'm going to try to find another job. Because there are a lot of men, they got no, bro, they got no choice but be that beat. Why? Because you, the baby mama, it's just hard to deal with you. It's just hard to deal with you. So sometimes it's not even worth the stress. Because some of y'all just fucking <laughs> hard to deal with. It's just hard to deal with you. So then, that affects your kids, y'all kids. And then, your, and then y'all kids become something like this. Some kids come out, you know, to be great kids and they do good things in life. But then again, a, a lot of the kids, most kids, when they go through things like this, it does affect them in a way. You as the mother, you so bitter. Bitter. Because you got a problem with the baby daddy. You hold that relationship that they could have had because of how you feel. And that's why I say women don't women don't think critical, bro. Women make decisions based off how they feel. So now he well, he behind bars for you know, fifty years to life. We're going to blame the mother and we're going to blame him. He said, as soon as he saw his father, he knew that, he, you know, he's a good guy. But who was holding all that, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, relationship and uh, uh, admiration for his son and all that from happening? The mother. Sometimes baby daddy want to come back and take care of the kids. Because you got a prob- problem with the baby daddy. Oh, nah. You can't see them kids. You you use them kids as a way to get money from the baby baby daddy, child support, and you don't even feed your kids. You don't even take care of them kids. You you use that money, you use that child support money to have a lifestyle. And it's crazy because there are some women that use that child support money to go on dates with, you know, a new boyfriend. And I, I, I did a video about that. There was a broke <laughs> boyfriend, right? And that lady, you know, getting child support from the, you know, the daddy. And the daddy busting his butt to make money, right? And, you know, he has to pay child support. Otherwise, you know, you will get arrested. So he's busting his butt. Working hard. Giving you that child support to take care of them kids. Guess what you do? You go on vacation with your broke boyfriend and you paying everything. That's crazy to me. But y'all talking about men and shit. Y'all talking about men and shit. A lot of men want to take care of their kids. But some of them, they got no no more options. They got no options but be that beat. Me in part- bro, me? If I got a kid with you, I will do everything to make sure that my kids are correct and have a relationship with me. But if every time that I'm trying to see my kids, I got to go to court, I got to do all this back and forth, it's tiring. It's annoying. So at this point, I'm probably going to say F them kids. Because I only got one life to live. I can't be stressing. I'm probably going to say F them kids and move on. 
after going back to back to back to well fighting back to back to back to back to back to back to even see my kids and to even take care of my kids. And a lot of y'all ladies are felling y'all kids. But guess what? Karma is coming. Karma is coming. Karma is coming. Ladies, this is the best advice I could give y'all. If you got a problem with the baby daddy, now, you got to say, look, you can come and see your kids or whatever. Let the man spend time with the kids because you 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 don't understand having a relationship with your father. It's 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 amazing. Because you as a mother, you don't know everything. You think you know everything. You y'all can't raise a son. The son gotta have a father figure. And I know, and I know there are some broke men out here. Y'all need to get your money up. I know there are some deadbeat out here. Y'all need to get your money up. Take care of your sons. Take care of your daughters. But some of them, they, they, they can't even do that because of you. Because you are the problem. You are stopping everything from happening. And your kids become things like that. You know what I mean? So I'm really sorry that I couldn't really uh, uh, interview that guy. I know you guys were waiting for that interview. Uh, it would have been uh, an amazing interview. Um, we only got, you know... Uh, footage, but uh, um, he failed himself too. But the mother did too. But the father tried everything that he could. Sometimes you you know you you know you can't overstep because you as as the father you you don't want to go to jail too. You don't want to go to jail. You know what I'm saying because you know there are precautions that you have to take as a man. Women, women got this leverage. They, they, they could just put you on child support, and they just use that money for, you know, whatever. Y'all heard what he said, man. It is, it is important for fathers to be in their kids' lives. But, but a lot of women, they use that. They use them kids as a weapon. Well, I'm going to tell y'all right now, ladies. Y'all going to hell, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to hell. A lot of y'all going to hell. Just get ready. It's coming for y'all. It, it is coming. Get ready. You got little babies. You telling you tell them little babies, nah, daddy don't like you. Daddy don't want to be with you. Daddy don't want to sp spend time with you. Oh, daddy ain't want to provide. And then that little baby like, daddy don't want to provide. It's either that little baby got smarter and, you know, they find out what happened like him. Or they just don't talk to the dad. They just take your word for it and they just don't talk to the daddy. And y'all feel good about that. Ain't y'all ladies? <laughs> y'all feel good about that? Your son, you ruin your life. I mean, uh, your son's life. You ruin your daughter's life. Because you want to feel entitled. Because you, you want to be the man, right? You want to you, you wanna show them babies that you're doing everything. Oh, you are the man. I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. I love kids, though. I mean, if I have kids, I will take care of my, uh, of my kids. Also, fellas, please, please know who you're having kids with. Talk to that girl. Get to know the girl, man. Know who you're having kids with. Now, 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 you can't really know. You can't, you, 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 you can't really fully know women. I'm saying you can't fully know what she's up to and stuff like this because they be switching up. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. <laughs> before you let that <laughs> I'm saying, go, before you let that go, get to know that girl, man. Have a little, 
test her, you know, test her, I mean, test that girl. Hypothetical situations, just make make up hypotheticals, uh, you know, situations and talk to her and uh, um, ask her about those things and see, you know, how she replies. And from that, you know, that way you can make a decision to see if that's a, is that a, it's, you know, if that's a, if, if that's a good candidate <laughs> to have your kids, man. Otherwise, man, it's just, it's a crazy world we live in. Anyway, um, that's what I wanted to bring to y'all, fellas, ladies and gents. Uh, that's what happened, man. So this is why we need fathers in their sons' or daughters' lives. And ladies, y'all need to stop doing that. Y'all need to stop using your kids as weapons. Y'all need to stop using them kids in the, uh, divorce cases as weapon, because them kids will know, and them kids will resent you sooner or later. That's all I gotta say, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, fellas. Until next time, man. We out of here.